I think, as Steve, of course, said in his lead, the key here is how much capital is ultimately going to be needed to be raised by uh, the banking system. And that is something that we will start to at least get to coalesce around in terms of a number in the next week or so. Uh, as a lot of the banks here in the New York area march down to the New York Fed today for their meeting and get on their link with D.C. and and hear the news and then have that opportunity, as Steve said, to respond over the next few days if they feel the assessment is not a fair one. But coming back to that larger question of capital, I think the key is how is it going to be raised if it is needed? Now, there are any number of banks out there that are still in a position, should they be forced to, to convert their preferred equity that they received under the TARP uh, into common, into tangible common equity, as Citigroup is in the process of doing. And we'll hear in the not-too-distant future, finally, on the details of that exchange offer or when that's cleared by the SEC. But, Steve, I guess that's the key question here. We don't know. Everybody has speculated. Everybody's talking about the balance sheets and what the commercial real estate exposure is and how the Fed's going to look at CRE right. and how it's going to look at subprime, not subprime anymore, but prime and jumbo on home equity loans as related to residential uh, and consumer uh, and commercial and credit cards. Um, are you getting any sense as to their approach on that front? Uh, or whether they're going to be more lenient, perhaps, or less on certain of these different asset classes? I did not get the sense of any leniency here. They want the banks to have capital, and I also don't think they want the banks to give back the TARP money. That was the other thing I, I, I kind of was picking up, not for just from talking to Fed this morning, but talking last week to other government officials. They want this system overcapitalized or correctly capitalized for a worst-case scenario, and this will, they think, break the cycle of this vicious downward circle that we've been in of fear among banks and of investors to get into banks. If they have enough capital, I think this goes a long way to solving the problems of fear that are out there right now. Right. Hey, hey guys, yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be clear to some people who are watching this conversion of preferred to common. Why? I mean, they already have that money. What's the difference whether it's preferred or common? It's an accounting treatment and the ability to actually charge the, that tangible common equity as you take write-downs, Mark. So it's I know it is, differently. It, it, it is, and it's, uh, it's not, I mean, the preferred is considered in a sense, I think I'm correct in this, a debt instrument in some ways. It's not counted as okay. obviously tangible common, which is the key here in terms of taking, when you ultimately take the losses and they flow down, uh, that is what you charge, that's what you need to have all right. uh, in order to reduce it uh, at the end of the day from the, from the loan loss reserves. Okay, second question. Hope that made some sense. Uh, or, or second question. Not really a question, really more of a statement. I understand this rationale why you can't give back the TARP money. Uh, you know, well, we don't want you to be overextended. But you know, I can't help but be cynical about this. Sounds to me like the government just wants to keep their hooks in them. You know, Mark, I can't, I can't debate that. If that's the way you think the government's operating, then that's the way you think the government's operating. I, I don't think that's, that's the case here. I don't think the government wants to be involved in town? here at all. I don't think they want to have their yeah, tentacles. I, I think they have other priorities oh. for government intrusion into, the, into, the, into oh. business right now, and, and they don't want to be neck deep in the I, I'm sorry, system. but it, I, it certainly appears to me that the government, the administration, is relishing the... Uh, the power it has, right? I, don't, I, don't, I, I think you're wrong about the that. Ability I really to raise, you're wrong. You know, Mark, the ability to raise private capital, as only Goldman Sachs has been able to do right now, is the key here. And I, I think a lot of the end result of these trust tests is to try to show to the market there are stronger banks that can go out into the market and raise private capital, and then there are going to be those that are unable to, and that's where the government's going to focus. I don't know that they you want to keep what? their I mean, I'm those sorry, are, but I, I, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still too attached to capitalism, which seems to be dead. But if Jamie Dimon or Blank Fine or whomever wants to give the government its damn money back, I don't see why that's a problem. And, and put itself in what is deemed to be an undercapitalized situation, Mark. It's their bank. It's their bank, and it was our problem, Mark. And see by that? the way, they, every, it's single, our problem. every single, single thing they would want to drive themselves to off the a cliff? Well, they, they didn't do such a great job. I don't mean J.P. Morgan in this context, but other of the banks did not do such a great job anticipating the fury okay. of the markets. And, Mark, you know, we can debate this another time. The free market died on uh, March 13th I, of 2008, you know, when we saved Bear Stearns and forced it into the hands of J.P. Morgan. If you really wanted a free market, that's where you needed it to play out. Yeah. Those that took the risk needed to be able to fail without without endangering the system. We're so far beyond that, Lord knows. You know, I mean, we? if I get a loan, I have sure the right to pay it back. 
Anyway. Well, there's also the issue of a lot of them could raise capital and they do not want to at the price where their stocks are trading. Raising capital is a choice. They want their stocks to go higher before they're forced to do it. They'd rather rely on Uncle Sam then. Okay. I guess I'm just too simple to understand all of this. Let's find out how this morning...